I wouldn't doubt you. <laughs> no. I don't know. What, how do you want the world to end? I mean, like, do you want it, like, very apocalyptic? Or do you want, like... Do you, you mean, like, 2012? Yeah. Oh, no, that's, like... All right, that's, like... Well, not the movie, but, like, the whole, like, yeah. in 2012, like, what will happen? Well, what do you think is going to happen? Well, that's what I'm asking you. Hold on. To like, the movie 2012 is, like, when the Earth floods, pretty much. All right? It's pretty much... It doesn't even give you a reason why shit happens. It's just, <laughs> like, oh... Fuck. <laughs> or do you want like something very minus like very easily like zombies? Like zombies would be cool. It would be cool. Well, I mean you'd say that now, but I I'd be dead like within a fucking day. <laughs> <laughs> I mean you're like yeah, a zombie apocalypse would be awesome. I know exactly what to do. I've played all those zombie games. No, you fucking don't know what to do. You're like I'm gonna run to the nearest gun store. Really? You run. <laughs> You're gonna be paying. Yeah, you're gonna be paying. You're gonna be like, oh my god, what the fuck? I should have exercised. <laughs> no, like, you'll be you'll be the first one. Who me? Yeah. You think I'd be the first one to go? No, not the first one to go. You'll be the first zombie. Oh, why was that? Because you're eating that disgusting chipotle burger. Oh, that had <laughs> nothing to do with anything. <laughs> it's like <sighs> this one tastes weird. There's a finger in here. And well, yeah. Oh, well, you just you, you you stole that from Zombie Land. What? Eating well, eating into an infected hamburger. Yeah. Yeah. See, that could happen. No. With all, with the mad cow disease. Cows aren't mad. They're just very silly. 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 Yeah. Okay, well, anyways. How would you like the world to end? Um, with a whimper or a bang? It's got to end with a fucking bang if I'm in it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's, that's the only way to go. I mean, we... Like, you want to be like... Like an asteroid hitting the Earth and just blowing up, or do you? No, want... no, no. I, I, I want, like, I want to make sure that you have a chance to survive. Or yeah, I mean, at least have a chance to survive. And, unless, unless I, unless I am the one who catches the asteroid, <laughs> and but then blow, up. yeah, and flame, but then blows up. <laughs> Very Armageddon, you know. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, if if uh, if I can prevent the world from ending, I wouldn't. <laughs> I wouldn't. <laughs> Knowing that you could, there's a chance of survival. Knowing there's a chance for my survival, hell yeah, but knowing for a chance for everybody else's, no. Thank you. Well, I mean, I'm sorry, I'm just, I, I, I'm choosing to be selfish here because I think that... Self-preservation. Yeah, well, self-preservation in that, and I don't want to die. <laughs> I, I hardly doubt everyone else wants to, either. Well, they should have been prepared like me. <laughs> prepared? How is one prepared for... Her? I have a first aid kit and a... Uh, flashlight. Thing, and a flashlight and a thing of water and peanut butter. So I'm pretty much set for a week. A week? A week. Oh, I'm, I'm pre-planned for this. I already figured it out, okay? On December 22nd or 21st or 23rd or whatever the hell the day is now, 2012, somebody's going to come on the news and be like, uh, someone in South America has been eaten. <laughs> <laughs> someone in South America has been eaten. And that's going to cause this like huge, massive chain of effect of everybody just starting eating everybody. Like They're not even zombies. They just want to <laughs> eat people. I think the cannibals are a all mad come disease back. of cannibalism. Yeah, like a mad disease of cannibalism, and everybody just starts eating each other. Or maybe it's a fad. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like it's like Par like Paris Hilton goes out there and takes a big chunk out of somebody. It's like, oh my god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like like all the South Americans are doing it. So what? <laughs> That's hot. That says Paris Hilton. Let's say that. But she would wait a minute. No, but no, what I'm saying is like the end of the world. I don't think the world will end. Honestly, I mean, everybody else... It'll restart. <laughs> It'll be reborn. No, it, no I mean, I, I, I read up on some of that shit, on, on those like conspiracy theories and stuff like that, but it doesn't say, really, if you, if you look at the Mayan text, it, it says something like, the world will change as we know it. That doesn't mean it's going to end. That doesn't mean gigantic fireballs are going to be coming, like, flaming out of somebody's asshole, or... Like, aliens are going to come from the sky and pick us all up in their spaceship and then rape us. You know, that's... <laughs> How would you know? Maybe there is aliens out there waiting on this. There probably is aliens out there. If I was if I was an alien and I knew that humanity was sitting there anticipating that day, <laughs> I would come down and I would fuck with us. I would a just... A day early. <laughs> yeah, like a day like, hey, what's up, bitches? And then just, like, destroy our planet, you know? A day early. A day early, you know? I mean, it's nobody's like... expecting it that day. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, that, that that would be funny. I mean, if I was an alien, of course. But not not I don't know. I, I might laugh, you know. 
I if I'd got to know the alien, you know. Um, but he blew me up, so you know, I couldn't get to know him. I I wouldn't know what goes on his head. But now, I mean, how, how how do you want the world to end? You obviously have a few ideas. How I will? Yeah. End? How how would you end the world if you could? Chaos. Mass destruction. No, no. It implodes on itself. People will just end up, like. You know, just people just not wanting to take anybody's crap anymore. So it's just oh. like. And so you're you're pretty much turning into you're turning the world into a huge battlefield. Exactly. Okay. Very civil warish. You know, yeah. like America. No, it's a, instead of America, it's like mine. You know, everybody for everybody. Yeah, it's like this state belongs to Matt. <laughs> yeah, it's like one gigantic death match. It's like I call Maine. You know, it's like 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 kind of. You know. He, in, in the world we live in today, if we had all had one big gigantic uh, death match, uh, we would have a server connection timeout. <laughs> connection <laughs> timed out. No connection. <laughs> connection lost. <laughs> if I died, I'd just complain of lag. <laughs> Someone has a lag switch, and they <laughs> modded their control. No, but I mean, I, I like that. I like that thought. I mean, like that want that somebody just says something that pisses somebody off, and that pisses somebody <laughs> off, and then just. This huge, huge. I want to be something happens. simple too, like, uh, like, 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 like. No, no. It's like the person just stepped in gum and just like <laughs> lost it. Yeah, it's like the world is ending now. <laughs> I'm taking. He takes out a gun, shoots the guy next to him, the other guy, then he shoots the guy, but he misses, and the other guy takes a gun out and shoots him, and then we just have this like huge shooting spree, and it just carries over to the next town, the next town, and it needs to start in South Dakota. I don't think South Dakota needs any kind of violence like that. They already have enough problems to deal with. They're South Dakota. <laughs> no, I think it needs to start probably in... Uh, don't say New York. That's commonplace. I, no, I'm saying Hawaii. So, it has to jump. Like, it has to jump uh, overseas. Yeah. So that random... Well, I mean, no, so, no, no, no. It starts in Hawaii and you're like, wow, if those peaceful Hawaiian people are having that shitty of a time, I must be non-existent. And then that's going to anger people, you know what I mean? Either that, or like I said, start in South America with somebody eating somebody. <laughs> it could be, it could be that way. You never know. But I mean, I, I do like the idea of massive chaos. You know, I mean, every, everybody loves that imploding on itself. Yeah. Or, or we can just do the, or, the core needs to be restarted. God, that's and gay. We, and we have to drill to the center of the earth. And drop nukes down it. Yeah, because that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> yeah, and then 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 it's like then we have a, then we suffer a catastrophic failure and we have to casually sacrifice our members to <laughs> to, to to restart the Earth God. Earth core. You know, are there like dragons or beasts inside the Earth core? <laughs> Not in that movie. What movie? Am, what movie am I thinking of? Trying to see the city. No, there? no. Like I'm pretty sure. I thought there was like no, not in Journeys to the Earth. There was like these like like other life forms in, in in the Earth's core. I have no idea what you're talking about. I I mean either, and I wish you would help me out here. I don't think it's Journeys to the Earth, but I'll have to look into this sometime because I'm I I'm pretty sure that movie does exist that I'm thinking of, and I thought it was the core. It might have been it might have been the Earth core. <laughs> I don't know. It's one of the, probably a cheap B movie. Sci-fi class. <laughs> probably, yeah, probably something on the... The Core 2. Yeah. Return to the center. No. Speaking of a sci-fi classic, what is your favorite sci-fi classic? Since uh, there's so many... Oh, like, there's literally... Probably hundreds, though. You mean, like, classic sci-fi? No. I'm, I'm using the, the word classic very loosely. Well, either way, it's going to be the same movie, and that's the... It's like, you know, like, Piranha versus Gatoroid, no, or... No, 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 it, it's going to be Godzilla. The very first Godzilla movie. I'm talking about the Sci-Fi Channel. Oh. Godzilla. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know you're talking about, like, a sci-fi movie. Um, God, the, all their movies blow, but, uh... <laughs> um... Anything with Dean Cain in it, I will watch. Really? Really, I will watch. I watched a movie the other day. I don't even remember what it was called. I don't remember what it was about, but it had Dean Cain in it. And I was like, this movie is okay, because Dean Cain's in it. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah. Oh, what about you? You're the movie buff. You know what my favorite? 
What? Um, I asked you. I, mean, uh, well, I don't. <laughs> that's my favorite. Was none of them. No, no. Okay. That's not fair, though. I chose Dean Cain. You don't even name. You can't even figure out what movie he was in. I don't know the name of it. Oh, okay. It was just Dean Cain's Epic Adventure. Well, look it up. No, I'm too lazy. Okay, figures. Yeah. Okay. But, let's see here. Yeah. Yeah, Dean Cain. Dean Cain? Yeah, Dean Cain. He's, okay. he's my reason. Your reason for what? <laughs> for watching the Sci-Fi Channel. Okay. He's on Ripley's Believe It or Not. He's in three movies. And Look. if they ever pick up Lois and Clark Adventures, you know, <laughs> he's on that too. Uh, God. And they need to put him on Beyond Belief and redo that show. Beyond, oh, with Riker? Yeah. I love that show. That show's amazing. Okay. Anyways, next topic. Next topic. It's your turn. I picked the end of the world. Well, that's not really fair. Um, well, you, yeah, you did pick the last two in the row. Um, interesting topic on here. Actually, I'm reading comments right now that you guys have put on some of our uh, vids and Jared. Or, sorry, Jerry. You say uh, to your movie experiences, what about paranormal activity? I'm sure there was some jumping there. No. No. There was no jumping there. I mean, my heart start, was racing for a few seconds. Like... Maybe because I had to use the bathroom. I thought, I did think it was cool though. Like, had I not known it was fake prior to watching it, I might have jumped maybe once or twice. But I think the fact that I knew it was fake kind of ruined the movie for me. And had I seen it in theaters, did you see it in theaters? Mm -hmm. Did Did you know it was fake beforehand? I, I knew it was fake anyways. It's just one of the, it's. It can't be that. It's just one of those movies that you know it's fake just by looking at it. Not all everybody thought it was fake. But I knew it was fake. But you funny. knew it was fake. You do movies. <laughs> of course you'd think it was fake. <laughs> no, but, uh, I mean, it it was interesting, you know. The first one, I haven't seen the second one because that just looks terrible. <laughs> but, uh, no, the, the first one, I, I, I did like it. My favorite scene in there, though, um, was probably when they show, when they, when they put a, pour the baby powder on the floor, um, and they show like the little demon's footprints. I didn't get scared, I thought it was kind of cute. I was like, oh, he's by the bed, you know, and... I did like the part when she got dragged out of bed. That was, I mean, like, I like watching other people's reaction watching that movie. I found, yeah, I found myself watching the audience more than I found the movie. Yeah, I mean, if you knew it was fake, it was one of those, it kind of ruined it for you. So, I mean, really there was no jumping to it. So, if that if that answers that statement there, Jared, no. We, we did not jump at that. And I thank you once again, Jared, for commenting on our stereotyping one. And yes, they have been putting nerds in the cement for years. And it makes me feel bad. And I would like to thank Amber for liking our Call of Duty review. I think that is very important, the fact that people actually like it. And no, we are not doing Annie. <laughs> because I don't know any of the characters besides Annie, apparently. And Daddy Warbucks. Yes. Uh, War is it Warbucks? Uh, Warbucks, whatever. Warbucks. I don't care. But, uh, let's I see here. Um, oh yeah, uh, Lance. You're welcome anytime if you want to help us out. We're just doing some shout outs here in the meantime while I'm trying to think of. Uh... Oh, and uh, this is getting annoying, Logan, if you ever listen to this. Your profile is being hacked. <laughs> and Max has texted you twice now. Once. Once, which is like twice. And this is getting ridiculous. Everything we're typing on here, you keep hammering away with your stupid carombale.com. R10 HTML, and the fucker who hacked your profile can go eat a brick. You piece of shit. Anyways, I'm glad that everybody's enjoying the chat room on here, except Safara and Brittany. And Brittany. Brittany's going to bed. Let's announce that now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, excuse me. Anyways, topics for today. Or the topic for right now, I am going to talk to you today about, um, let's see, oh, what movie are you looking forward to this summer? Um, uh, probably, I don't know, I have too many. I have one. What? Green Lantern. Ah. 